How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number one in this new series I'm doing which is on QBasic. Before I get started I'd just like to say I'm sorry if you can hear the lawnmower going outside. I found the quietest spot I could in my house so hopefully the sound doesn't bleed in. But anyway, um, in this video all we're going to be doing is going over what QBasic is uh, via Wikipedia and then um, I'm going to show you guys how to download it and yeah, no coding in this video, all we're going to do is the setup. So let's launch Firefox, it's going to be my browser of choice for this video. You can use whichever one you want though. And I guess first of all, let's go over what QBasic is. Now because I always forget the acronym, let's go into the QBasic Wikipedia page. Um, so basically QBasic is an IDE and an interpreter. And QBasic is sort of a variant on the basic programming languages. So, uh, basically, the basic programming language is based off of QuickBasic, which is another language. QBasic stands for the Quick Beginners All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Now, QBasic actually takes me all the way back to grade 10. Grade 10 in high school, my first computer science course I ever took. And the first language we learned how to use was QBasic. So, yeah, this takes me way back. This is the first programming I was exposed to ever. So that's why I wanted to do it. Very easy to go over. And even though it's outdated, it's a great learning tool for people who don't have much exposure to computer science and who are new to coding and all that. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this. So anyway, it was uh, originally uh, designed for MS-DOS. That was the operating system. And I think I've seen it used up to Windows XP, like the actual QBasic program. But it won't work anymore on Windows 7 and, and 8 easily. You have to, you know, download more stuff, config, configure some settings. So instead, we are going to use a program called QB64. So search that, or you can just type in QB64.net, and this is where we're going to download it from. Now, when it loads, you can download something called QCloud, um, but I'm not going to be doing that for this series. So I would suggest clicking on either the Windows, Linux, Mac OS X, or Android tabs, whichever operating system your system's using. And I would want to, at least at the time where I'm making this video, GL is the latest version. So download the .7z file. Let's actually do that together. Uh, save file, OK, and it's going to start downloading to my downloads folder. So it's going to take about three minutes, so I'm going to cancel this because I downloaded it before I did this tutorial, just to save time. So let's go into my downloads folder, and I just got to find it now. Uh, actually, I'm going to delete this because that's the original time I extracted it. OK. So, where is it? Right here. So, at the bottom here, you'll see QB64, uh, uh, the version information, dash win.7z. I'm going to right click on it. And one thing you will need for this is 7zip. So, if you don't have 7zip, just Google 7zip. It's my favorite program for extracting uh, compressed folders. So, right here. You download 7-zip, um, depending on the system, you know, that'll uh, depend uh, what you see here. But since I'm on Windows, it shows up download 7-zip for Windows. Um, down here is for uh, Linux, so it's really depending on your operating system. But anyway, download uh, the EXE if you're on Windows, that'd be my personal preference, or the uh, .msi file. And download that, go through the installation. And once you have that installed, you can just right click on this file up here where it says 7-zip, hover above that, this menu will pop out, and you want to select extract here. It's going to take a couple seconds to down, or extract, sorry. And once it does, scroll up to where all your folders are, and you will see a folder, oh sorry mine's at the bottom, normally it puts it right at the top, but anyway, um, you'll see a folder that says QB64. So just right click and copy this, or control C, 
and then I would paste it on your desktop. Now uh, open this up and inside the folder you'll see this application called qb64.exe and when you launch it this is our actual uh, QBasic IDE slash emulator and if you've ever used QBasic it's the exact same QB64 is just for modern machines that's the only difference uh, the file menu is where we're going to be opening saving our files and then um, right here is where we can run our uh, program from and also uh, you know make the exe file that's all I'm going over in this tutorial next video we will actually get into some coding so make sure you check that out but for now that's all I got for you remember to leave a comment on this video like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time